Okay, so it's time to call bullshit on a content creator who calls himself no bullshit. This guy recently posted a video criticizing Hollywood actors for using their platform to call for climate action in response to the Australian wildfires. In doing so, he focuses on what quote unquote lefties say and ignores what's readily available in scholarly articles and scientific journals. For example, it's common for people on the left to say that climate change is causing these wildfires. What the data shows is that climate change is, in fact, increasing the intensity and frequency of these wildfires due to higher temperatures and longer drought periods increasing the window for potential wildfires. He claims there's no evidence of the latter and then repeats the viral false claim that 200 arsonists are behind the Australia fires. The truth behind this latter claim is that the New South Wales police have taken legal action against more than 180 people so far during the 2019-2020 bushfire season. That doesn't mean 200 arsonists have caused fires. Here are some examples of the charges. 24 people have been charged over alleged deliberately lit bushfires. 53 people have had legal actions for allegedly failing to comply with a total fire ban. 47 people have had legal actions for allegedly discarding a lighted cigarette or match on land. Not surprisingly, no bullshit doesn't show you that his source for this claim is Fox News. I have posted links to scholarly articles and science blogs and journals on the relationship between climate change and increased intensity and frequency of wildfires. What's important to note here is how no bullshit ignores readily available scholarly articles that explain how and why climate change is increasing the frequency and intensity of wildfires to claim that he finds no evidence for this. This includes articles from several years ago claiming that climate change would result in an increase in wildfires. We can even look at the 2007 IPCC report which predicted an increase in wildfires. And yet his source for believing that 200 arsonists are the culprit is an easily debunkable false claim being peddled on right-wing propaganda news websites. He then repeats the tired old meme about environmentalists who are to blame, because they allegedly prevent controlled burns, which results in much more intense wildfires when they do happen things possibly making these wildfires worse. While I haven't seen any concrete evidence saying climate change affected this at all, I have seen a number of stories detailing how it's actually the left-wing environmentalists who are fanning these flames, quite literally. Basically, as this article discusses, what's happening is radical left-wing environmentalists in Australia are stopping the country from conducting the controlled burns it needs to keep these wildfires from happening. It the Brett Bart article he is showing here even goes as far as blaming the Australia Greens for opposing controlled burns. Just one problem here. It's not true. It turns out the Greens do support controlled burns. This reminds me of the Tim Pool business model, whereby you simply uncritically repeat what's being spouted on right-wing hack websites, ignore all disconfirming data, and pretend that you're just objectively sharing information. This saves you the trouble of doing any actual research as you're simply curating right-wing content and feeding YouTube's highly lucrative right-wing audience their own confirmation bias back to them. I seriously don't know how people like this sleep at night. Here is Michael Mann, an American climatologist and geophysicist, explaining how climate change is increasing the severity of droughts and floods. What does the science say about how climate change is, is exacerbating these types of events. Yeah, so we're not saying that climate change is literally causing the events to occur. Uh, what we can conclude with a great deal of confidence now is that climate change is making these events more extreme. And it's not rocket science. You warm up the atmosphere, uh, it's gonna hold more moisture, you get larger flooding events, you get more rainfall. Uh, you warm the planet, you're going to get more frequent and intense heat waves. You warm the soils, you dry them out, you get worse drought. You bring all that together, and those are all the ingredients for unprecedented wildfires. 
Now, beyond that, there's something else that we think is happening, and, and that's why there is this uh, coherence that all of these events around the Northern Hemisphere, uh, extreme floods, droughts, heat waves, wildfires, uh, what connects them is the fact that these weather systems are remaining in place. They're remaining stationary. We have these large undulations in the jet stream, and that gives us extreme weather. But what's also happening is that the jet stream isn't moving them along. We have a slow jet stream, and so these weather systems stay in the same place day after day. They rain on the same locations day after day. That's when you get unprecedented flooding. They bake the ground day after day. That's when you get unprecedented heat and drought. Uh, and we think that climate change is actually creating those conditions. Climate change is literally making the jet stream uh, more wild. It, it undulates more, so you get those uh, weather extremes, and it's causing the jet stream to slow down, so those extreme weather events stick around, and that's when you get unprecedented damage and threat.